Okay. As youths, we have recently shown displeasure with the government led by President Ruto on a number of key issues. The government has, however, insisted on talks despite stating clearly that we needed action rather than dialogue. We hereby pronounce the list of our demands on audiovisual version for government dummies in simple lingo for easy comprehension. Number one, end the importation of agricultural products that Kenyans can produce, example, mtumba clothing, maize, sugar, rice, pepper, ginger, fish, etc. This will help contain capital flight, dollar shortages, and directly create business and employment opportunities for opportunities for Kenyans. As young people, we want to embark to our respective counties and get busy as farmers, marketers, middlemen, traders, and transporters in our industry. Number two, stop the labor export gibberish. We love our country and those of us working abroad long to come back home. Sending the youth abroad is denying us the fundamental aspects of life of life like starting families, being with our, with our loved ones during funerals, weddings, birthdays, and other important family ceremonies. We want to contribute directly to our country's GDP and not other countries. Number three, respect the constitution in its entirety and stop threatening the judiciary every now and then. Respect the party laws and consequently the doctrine of, of separation of powers and the system of checks and balances. Number four, change parliamentary leadership starting from the speaker, the majority leader, chair of budget committee, and chair of finance and pl planning committee. Five, respect and reinstate previously laid down establishments such as ELB, university funding, school capitation, school feeding programs, Linda Mama, Edu Afia and Kazim Tahani programs. Six, end tribalism in state appointments, especially in the cabinet and parastatals, and include the youth in these appointments. There are no shareholders and non shareholders in this country, and neither is it a two tribes state. Seven, the first lady to understand that the state is purely a secular institution and stop forcing a belief on the people and stop inviting controversial preachers to come pray for we, the people. Eight, the exploding tear gas canister must be banned in Kenya. It is in the nature of a semi-grenade that's meant to cause permanent disability and even death to protest protesters and even police officers handling it. Nine, release youths held up in remand prisons over minor charges. They are victims of the incompetence exhibited by the current government and the previous one, which Ruto was part and parcel of. 10. Recognize and create a significant budget for Bunge La Mwanainchi Fora all across the country. Ruto, the ball is in your court. It is on you to decide whether you will go or stay. We are rightfully impatient and demand to see results faster than immediately. Thank you, Mr. President. <laughs> Yeah, thank you very much. Me na it wa William Jahom. Tumeona kuna Tumeona kuna mambo inaendelea hapa Kenya sahi. Na sisi kama wananchi wa kawaida tumeachwa nyuma. Wale wenye pesa sahi wako kwa mahoteli kubwa kubwa wanaendelea na mambo yao. Na mimi namwambia Raila Molo baba tunakupenda sana. Na tumepigania inchi pamoja na wewe. Na kuna mahali umetufikisha. Lakini sisi kama wale ambao wako chini hapa, sisi pia tuko na demand zetu. Demand ya kwanza. Sisi kama watu wa chini, watu wa kawaida. 
keki kitoka lazima sisi pia tukatiwe keki ama niaje bunge la mwananchi lazima tuka, tukatiwe nini keki sasa hii tumeona CS wamechaguliwa na tumeona Ruto ameregesha yani karibu 